It is a pretty little place, Shelburne Falls, cradled in a bend of the Deerfield River with its famous bridge of flowers, a classic main street, and dramatic waterfall. It's no wonder this village has caught the eye of Hollywood. Three major productions have come to town in recent years. The latest, riding in on a counterfeit cold front, complete with fake snow and Christmas decorations making this a springtime to remember in Shelburne Falls. This charming little village would seem like a natural fit for some movie make-believe. After all, technically, Shelburne Falls isn't a real town at all. This is Chronicle on WCBB Channel 5. So what Shelburne Falls really is, it's a figment of the imagination. Joe Judd town clerk of Shelburne. Together with the town of Buckland, its neighbor across the Deerfield River, the two separate towns make up the village of Shelburne Falls. Nobody pays taxes to the town of Shelburne Falls. Even the falls are not Shelburne Falls. No, they're not. They're called Salmon Falls. Semantics aside, Hollywood is clearly smitten. For weeks in 2021, a film crew from Showtime was in town shooting a follow-up to its popular series, Dexter. Random street closures may be an inconvenience, but folks in town seem happy to roll with it. They've been a godsend. Judy Aldrich owns the Foxtown Diner, the popular gathering spot in the middle of Shelburne. For us, it's been amazing. It's really helped us through a rough spring. So, no, I'd like him to stay all summer. But stargazing means something else entirely for one local. Humans are clearly an interplanetary species. I mean, we're from here, but the universe is our neighborhood. Katie Coleman, Shelburne's very own NASA astronaut. Coleman has made three trips into space, once spending half a year on the International Space Station. I really, really loved living there. And I, I did want to come home eventually. I would have in a minute spent another six months up there. There's re there is no reason not to, except that you miss your family. Do you feel changed by that and those experiences? having been one of the few people to slip the earthly bonds and have that perspective of the blue planet. I do, it's something you can't undo. You just can't, you can't be the same after you've gotten, first of all, to live in this magical place. A chemist trained at MIT and UMass Amherst, Coleman loved the weightlessness, the views, and most importantly, the research she and the crew conducted each and every day with some time carved out for the first ever Space to Earth Flute Duet with Jethro Tull's Ian Anderson. Coleman says the idea of becoming an astronaut never occurred to her until she met Dr. Sally Ride, the first woman astronaut at MIT. And I just thought maybe I could try to do that because I think that people need to see people like themselves in order to choose that path. Now retired from NASA, Coleman has a new podcast called Mission Interplanetary and an active schedule of public speaking. Her mission, to get more women into the sciences. She may miss her days in space, but she is happy to be grounded here in Shelburne. I mean, I was busy for a really, really, really long time. And as I, I would say, actually, most uh, <laughs> as most Speaking moms are, family. and now <laughs> and now I get to spend time with my uh, with my family, with my cat. This is Saber. Coleman met her husband, noted glass artist Josh Simpson, when she was working on her PhD at UMass Amherst. In a case of true cosmic alignment, Coleman fell in love with a man famous for creating wondrous glass planets. There's sort of a spirit of exploration, of curiosity about what else is out there. I think he does it through art and I do it a different way. And having had the privilege of gaining a perspective few of us can even imagine, Coleman is happy to have landed in this little village of 1700 along the Deerfield River. 
I like being part of a community. If you go to the grocery store, somebody's going to help me not miss the baseball sign-ups. Somebody else is going to say, hey, you're away that weekend, and so we can take, you know, Jamie to practice. And that's what kind of place it is. It's really, it's a special place. Season two of Katie Coleman's weekly podcast, Mission Interplanetary, just kicked off, and she says the next two episodes are about advancing disability inclusion in space. The podcast is a joint venture between Slate and Arizona State University, where Katie holds the official title of Explorer in Residence. Katie also says she's working on a book based on lessons learned through her experiences at NASA, which is set for release in 2023. <music>